Hello everyone and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today we're taking a long drive from Bend, Oregon to Spokane, Washington in the FLD by Faster CGO found on the Steam Workshop. We are picking up IBC containers from Beezer Homes and heading to Beezer in Spokane. All right, so here we are in the FLD once again. We got the Z Mods Cat C15 on this bad boy. Let's fire it up. All right, a big thanks to Thrustmaster for sponsoring this video in the American Truck Simulator series. We've got the Thrustmaster T818 direct drive wheel here in front of me and uh, absolutely love the thing. Let me tell you what. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make a left out of here and pick up. So this is going to be a longer trip than we normally do, but I haven't done American Truck Sim in a while, so I figured we would do a longer run. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We'll see what our options are when we get where we're going here, but uh, we'll see if it's uh, too short of a run. I don't think it's going to be, though. I'm going to left it right on out of here. Uh, okay, we have to be able to see the cars in front of us here. That would help, right? We got a suicide lane there, but I'm not sure we want to use it. Is this big truck going to let us out? I don't know. Looks like he's thinking about it. You going to let us out? He's going to let us out. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Yeah, I'm going to make a left turn here. They're going to let us out. Boy, everybody's being real nice to us so far today. That's that's not normal. I'll tell you that. Let's put this thing into gear here. There we go. Get that blinker off. There we go. Sweet. We're on our way. We're in the 13 speed today, so... We are not in an 18, which is okay. Not a big deal. Watching traffic here. I think we have to get in the right lane eventually, so I'm watching our mirrors. Our mirrors look good here. And we'll move our way over. We're going to have to get some fuel too, man. We are low on fuel, so that will be on the way. Actually, we're going to have to stop up here and do that, so that works for me. How y'all doing? Hopefully you're having a great week so far. I've been uh, doing well. I've got a lot of stuff to talk about, of course. We haven't uh, caught up in a while. And I like using the America Truck Sim series as a good way to kind of do a vlog and catch you up on everything going on in my life. So if you guys don't know and you're living under a rock, just kidding. Um, I'm doing World Flight here on November 4th uh, is when it starts. And you will see it on the main channel here. I will be hosting some of it when I'm there. So World Flight is we go to LA and we fly a full 737 cockpit sim around the world as a crew. Our SoCal crew is the name of it. And it's for a charity. It's awesome. And uh, we have some really good stuff going on this year. We've got not just uh, some diamond level sponsors and stuff that are helping out with the charity. Um, but we've got an awesome crew and we have a lot more behind the scenes style of stream that we're gonna have as well. Um, so Thrustmaster, there's a lot of different companies that are putting in products for the raffles that we're gonna be doing um, during World Flight. And uh, I'm really excited about it. You guys know Siv Ryan, he's gonna be there. Uh, he's a captain, you may not know, that uh, he's a bit of a prodigy when it comes to flight sim. He's <laughs> really, really good. And um, yeah, we're gonna be all streaming that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, so you don't wanna miss it. Mark it on your calendars starting November 4th. It's a week long. Um, I'll be streaming, I think three or four days on the main channel. Ryan will be streaming on his channel. Uh, and then we also have the SoCal Crew 737 channel as well on YouTube um, that will be streaming it. So. You have a bunch of outlets to check it out and you won't miss out on anything. I'll have links for all of that in the description below if you want to check it out. Apart from that, things are going well on the front of uh, OCRP. You guys have been enjoying the OCRP content. Um, I play. I got a lot more where that came from. Um, so I'll be editing down some more of that stuff for those of you that are big fans of that content. And uh, I can give you a little bit of a sneak peek. Julie Juju 
Your mama Juju. She does return uh, in a different way without her truck. I don't want to spoil the surprise, but it's going to be uh, it's going to be a good one for sure. And it's in Liberty City, so can't go wrong with that. Let's go medium on our jigs here. Yeah. Love that sound. Oh, yeah, we're going to get in the left lane here, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Definitely have to get in the left lane. Wait, AI traffic is being really nice. I don't know if there was an update or what, but yeah, they're being super nice. And uh, if you're wondering why I'm not using my turn signal, it's because I could not get it to work today. I think it's just uh, because of something got unplugged by a cat or something. Probably is the case. So I didn't even realize it until I started recording this whole thing. And there's a lot to it. You know, you got you to gotta start the audio. You got to start the uh, camera, sync all that stuff up, get into the sim. When you're in America Truck Sim, I try not to leave it because if you leave it sometimes, uh, you can get some problems or like flashing black and stuff on the recorded content. So that's the reason why it's not working. I'm just using the arrow keys today for it. It's not a big deal. We're just rolling with it for the most part. It's a good looking truck. I love black and cyan color right there. It's really well done. Um, so yeah, the thing is we have the Liberty City server that's separate from our main server. So the main server um, is just fine and dandy, the normal, you know, everything. Uh, and then Liberty City, we can tailor things a little bit more to that. So we have a huge LEO upgrade coming to OCRP that, that's being worked on by Thero. And um, uh, Liberty City is zero priority when it comes to law enforcement vehicles. So don't expect NYPD style cars and light bars and all that stuff and sirens. It's 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 not the main server and we're not putting a lot of into it uh it needs some more work anyway so as that goes along we'll you'll see the difference the differences as we go um let's get over in the right lane actually i did not realize how far we had to drive to pick up from our depot but okay what are you doing buddy he's taking his time we probably should have stopped there at that gas station, but that's okay. We got plenty of time. I think we're going to have to make a left up here anyway. So back in the left lane we go. Let's go all the way up on our guy here. Traffic. A lot of traffic today. City of Ben, Public Works, next right. You got it. You got it, dude. We'll do that. All right. Get around Red Bull here. Oops, turn that off. Don't need that on. So that's what's going on with OCRP. And then uh, what I got going on in World Flight in November. Uh, here in October, things have just been nice and kind of uh just just easy going for the most part um i've gotten a lot of what i wanted to get done in air traffic control on VATSIM. and if you didn't know i am a controller over there i'm an s1 in st louis or in kansas city center um at the artsy there and then we also uh have uh the new software that came out recently called crc and it's amazing really really like that software so if you haven't checked out any of that i've been streaming it on twitch.tv slash jfabiano where i stream monday through friday in the evenings if you haven't checked out a stream you should uh come on by and say hello you'll probably we'll probably be streaming by the time this video is out so who knows you never never know but things there have been good i'm getting ready to uh study for my major and the major is basically just uh, a major checkout at Kansas City International Airport, so I'll be controlling there as well. And then after I have my major done, then I can apply and start doing my tower controlling, so uh, training. So that's the idea, at least. And we're just gonna go on full jakes today, because it just sounds so good, you know? All right, we're making a left here, and then another left it looks like, and we'll be picking up. After 50 
I don't know what this truck's doing, but we're going to help him out. He's going to make us miss our lights, what he's going to do. We'll see, though. Come on, buddy. Keep it going. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Watch out for this car. Ooh, look at that Cadillac Seville. It's an older one. Or is that an Eldorado? Looks like it was an Eldorado. Yeah, we're pulling in here, it looks like. All right. Let's see how this goes. Oh, we have to park and block the road here and go talk to them and see where they want us to go. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is what we got going on. We know we're going to uh, Spokane today, but uh, IBC containers, 20,833. So a pretty light load, actually. All right, let's go pick up. Up here on the right, it looks like, is where they want us to pick these containers up. And it's, I think it's right up here on the right, behind this little berm. So it looks like to me. Uh, yep, that is the case. Okay, so they won't be that bad of a, a pickup. We don't have to do any crazy turns or anything. This one kind of deceives you a little bit because of the dirt, uh, the dirt hump there on the right. But if we just kind of come over here and then hit it right here, and we drop off right here onto these, boom. I can feel it in the seat for sure. I got that motion platform V3 by Next Level Racing on. And we're pretty much lined up right there. It's it's as simple as that. So we just kind of bring the trailer to the right here. Just like that. And then swing it out this way. And we're pretty much right in the spot we need to be. There we go. So curve it that way. And then on back. All the way this way. Straighten it out. We're in there. It's pretty much all we got to do. And wait for it to turn green just like that. And they're gonna load us up here. We'll go ahead and let them do that. And then we gotta hit some, uh, we gotta hit a gas station on the way out. Loading the cargo into the afternoon here. And we are all loaded up, we're ready to go. Like I said, we have to stop and get some fuel. And then we'll be on our way to Spokane. All right, fire this bad boy up. King of the Hill is a really good engine. Really love it. It's the Z Mod C15. We're gonna have to go around the backside of this prefab which is fine i'm not sure what our situation is as far as how easy it's going to be to get in and out of this gas station but hey we'll find out won't we we certainly will let's go up into third gear here so we're not screaming the rpms for no reason i got my windows down yep we're rolling with the windows down today, so a little louder than usual because I get a lot of people wanting to uh, hear the sounds of the truck, which I understand. It's an American Truck Sims video. You want to hear the truck itself. So that's why we're going to roll with the windows down today, and it's beautiful out. If it was raining, we would roll them up, but it's not raining. All right, right turn out of here. And we're going to be in traffic immediately, although he's making a, l a right, so we can make our right. Yep, they're all making a right, so sweet. Kind of works out for everybody, doesn't it? We're just going to be in a little bit of traffic here with Sweet Beats. Good old Sweet Beats right here. And we'll, we'll probably make this corner no problem without hitting anybody oncoming here. There we go, just like that. Let's just keep it rolling this way so we don't hit that curb. We're going to hit the, hit the curb. Sorry, truck. Right. See you, Colorado. Thank you. We're in a tough spot there, man. What are you going to do? Just keep it rolling to the right. All the way over here. There we go. We're good now. down here and then the gas station will be on our right hand side before we make that right turn to get out of this uh this town had some requests to come back to oregon so that's what we are doing today haven't been here in a while actually so i don't mind that slow down buddy slow down i love that that mod that uh, has all the police cars Paint it up. Looks really good. I'm excited for Nebraska. I'm not excited for you know Kansas. 
Arkansas. I haven't been living under a rock. I know about all that stuff. Been following it. Man, it seems like uh, any day now we might get a, a GTA 6 announcement from Rockstar. And uh, I think everybody's just about to lose their mind because it's been so long. But it'll be worth the wait for sure. I have plenty of faith in Rockstar. Okay, let's slow down here. And the 25 zone. And that RV is trying to pull out, aren't they? Where are you going, buddy? You trying to pull out on us here? Albany, the Dow's right lane. Let's go around this guy because he's sticking out in the road. We're good. Yeah, this is our fuel station option here. Not very good, but we're just going to roll with it. Looks like we might be able to pull through here. Um, yeah, we can do this. This won't be too bad. This won't be bad at all. Let's pull the trailer in all the way, just like that. We'll get out here and we will pump some fuel in this bad boy. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. That thing took a lot of fuel. That is for certain. Put our cap back on and let's get going. All right, let's fire it up. Push our parking brake in. Wait for the sound to go away. Into gear we go and we can start rolling. And there we go. We paid for our fuel. We're ready to get on out of here. Just got to come all the way up here and then go this way. Kind of worked out decently here because we can easily make the right turn out of this spot. So we'll do that. Make the stop sign here. Clear on the left. Let's do it. See that car there? Jeez, dude. Trying to get over. Trying to get over. We're good. Could have been bad. It came out of nowhere. It's usually how that works. All right, north towards the Dalles. That's what we want. As we get on the highway, we can relax a little bit. Blinker on, and we are going to be sailing. Just like that. It's 45 through here, really? It's kind of crazy. That's That can't be right. I'm going to treat it like it's not right, so. Put her in the final gear, and we are going down the road finally. On our way to Spokane. Took us forever, but we finally got it done. Almost had one mishap. I hope we get a light here. Maybe that's why it's 45 through here, but their cars aren't going 45. Come on. Got it, buddy. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. We'll skip gears on this one. I know some people are always like, why don't you skip gears? I mean, I know y you do skip gears, so you'd be like, go like, wind it on out there. Like that. But I like to, you know, shift. It's fun. It's fun for us. All right, we have to get over. Of course we do. So a little left blinker on. Let's see who's going to be nice to us today. You be nice to us? No, you're not going to be nice to us. Why would you? Come on, dude. Thank you. Force our way here on the road. And we're back in traffic just like that. Took no time at all. 45 zone here. 
I think we're just going to be in traffic on this run. That's what it's looking like so far. Where are we at? We are in Terrebonne, so there you go. El Mercado. Got the supermarket there and pharmacy. It's so weird, you know how much we um, drove Oregon originally. When you don't come back to a state in this game in like a long time, you forget a lot of these little towns. I don't remember a lot of this spot here we're at. To be really honest with you. Then scenic view, we just got a ticket. Not that I care. Uh, Crooked River, nice. Yeah, now it's a 60 zone, of course. And the right lane ends, so we have to get over again. A little bouncy there. final gear there and now we can just kind of coast as another cop but we're doing 65 we're fine we're just fine no worries there handmade store here on the right that's cool oh there's a tree down they're working on taking care of business are y'all excited for winter? It is coming. So in the month of December, we'll do uh, American Truck Sim with the snow. I try to like just doing it, you know, for one month because it gets it gets tedious after a while. Same as like in GTA, you know, whenever you have the snow mod on, it's fun for a little bit, but it gets old real quick. What are we doing? We're slowing way down here, man. Oh, he's turning, that's why. Are you turning? Oh, he was. All right, cool. Appreciate it. Fifty-five through here, and looks like we got a row construction spot, possibly. We'll see. It's nice to have a 13 speed or even an 18, you know, when you're dealing with these kind of minor hills and you're kind of in between gears, you don't have to lug it so hard. You just kind of right around 1400, 1500 RPM. Oh, a big, uh, big skip there. Not sure what that was about. Wasn't nice. And we'll get this thing on our jig brake here. You ready for it? When you have track IR on and everything else, when you look to the right, like just even for a split second, it's so easy to, to you know, lose your spot on the road. You gotta be careful with that. Especially with this much traffic with SIPS, C-I-P-S when I say SIPS, traffic mod on the Steam Workshop. It is a fantastic ordeal. What's this up here flickering? It's like bad textures. Yep, that's what it was. <laughs> there was something weird going on with that pawn shop. Not sure what that was about. Native American gifts, it looked like. You got a horse there. And a horsey. Uh, Biggs in 41 miles. Let's wrap this engine out. Listen to how beautiful this thing sounds. Too bad. 
I kind of like the middle sound better. That one's a little bit better. It's not as raspy. There's a lot of engine brake today on this road. big red barn up here on the right with a harvester. I guess it is about that time of the season, isn't it? For uh, harvesting corn, wheat. I need to put in the uh, fall mod here soon enough off of Grimes WordPress. Same uh, same mod maker as the, as the winter Grimes WordPress. Um, you can get the fall and the spring and all that stuff. It's really cool. It's a good add-on. All right, man. This is a windy, windy road today we are on. And we got another grade downhill here. Keep it on low, Jakes. Just kind of take it nice and easy down this hill. I remember this spot here because I remember this gas station. It's truck stop. Big junction. Down to 35. Sweet. Well, that wasn't so bad. In this right lane because I'm sure we're going to use it in a second before anybody tries to steal it from us. We'll be ready for it. Go straight. Yeah, we'll go straight after this because we need to get on 84, it looks like. Towards Yakima. I think that's what we're doing. 90, maybe 97. Yeah, we're not going Portland. Yeah, that's probably what we're doing. 97 north to Yakima. Get old Yakima. I uh, had to go through all my Adobe scratch disks today and delete a bunch of stuff, man. Because if you just go, if you use Adobe Premiere Pro, that's what I used to edit with. Um, you get media cache files you have to, you know, clean out once in a while, but that one uh, doesn't like to clean up everything. So you have to go in manually and remove all the like preview files, peak files, all the nonsense that you don't need, and it gets big quick. I end up deleting like a hundred gigabytes worth of crap. Oh man, that is a nice looking Fiero. A lot of people gave the Fiero a lot of crap back in the day because, I mean, it's it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a, a glorious car, let's be honest, but something about them reminds me of the 90s. Come on. I'm trying to skip gears for everybody, and we screwed it up. There we go. Oh, it's a train. I was wondering what the hell that sound was. Going down underneath us there. That's cool. Alright, we're going to skip gears again here. Let's try it. Let's see if we can do a decent job at skipping gears. Wasn't too bad. They have traffic though. That big old tugboat out there, that looks so cool. Get on the highway. Where's all this traffic from? Maybe just evening traffic, quite possibly. Driving the 13 speed how we're supposed to. It's just fun to shift gears, you know, and use all use all the gears that you got. Been a pretty realistic drive today with the amount of traffic on the roads. 
That's what I like. I don't mind sitting in traffic and stuff because, you know, it's a neat... It adds the immersion of driving a big rig across the U.S. in this sim. Because, you know, we have really compressed maps. So anything you can get is always a win. Always, always a win. back let me get a screenshot okay we are back in action got a cool picture climbing the hill there want to make sure I got that taken care of before I forget because sometimes I get on this trip and I'm like oh I didn't get a screenshot for a thumbnail so I would have to go back and do that and we're not doing that today so that's a win in my book Getting into the evening time, so we'll have a little bit of probably night driving, more than likely. I think we can make it before then, though, because now we're on the main highway, so let's wrap this baby out to 70. Because you know the traffic will be going kind of slower than that. Pendleton. Taking the exit here. This is an interesting one. We have to be in the left lane or the right? Probably the right side, I'd imagine. This will take us towards Spokane. What are you doing, dude? Going super slow. There's Kennewick. That's all fine and dandy. Another thing that's coming up soon uh, is the Cross the Pond event on VATSIM. That's on uh, the 28th, I believe, of October. So I'm not participating in it as flying or anything, um, but I think we're going to be doing airplane spotting in Boston Logan. So if you want to check out all the arriving heavy aircraft coming in, all live players, you know, we're going to watch their landings and judge their landings after their long haul flights. Should be awesome. I believe Ryan's gonna join me for that. We're gonna have some, uh, have the camera set up and everything uh, in observer mode and watch everybody come in, It'll, which will be really, really fun. So that'll be on my Twitch channel, of course. And I think it's gonna be earlier in the morning. It might be like a 10 a.m. stream, honestly, to, to get that all in there. Do we get to stop here? Nope, we get to go right through. Sweet. Gotta love it. We deliver flammable gas. Yes, you do. Oh, this could be bad. Are you getting on the highway or are you just staying? I don't know what he's doing. He doesn't either. That's all right. We'll just stay right here. Stay the course. I think he's exiting anyway. Looks like it. Could have been bad. These damn buses, man. They always, always get in the way, but we have to exit here anyway. Slow down, buddy. Slow down. There we go. This is what we want towards Spokane. That's another thing, you know. You can actually get where you need to go by reading the road signs. You don't have to rely on the GPS so heavily. Kind of what they're there for, you know? Almost like there was a time where we didn't have GPS on our phones everywhere we went. Every time you do a long haul, you know, road trip, 
cross country, you'd have the Ram McNally out. Which we need to do that sometime, just follow the road signs. That'd be fun. again because we're taking the clover leaf out of here the only annoying part about having a compressed map is is the fact that you know this would have taken a lot longer in between these two intersections and uh oh wait we do not want this nope we do not want this lane holy moly it's one of these kind of clovers okay Jeez, come on, man. Why is this thing not going into gear right? Stay in the right gear. Go into this gear. Not that one. Not that one. Thank you. Sometimes that happens. I don't know what's causing it, but sometimes it just doesn't go into gear. Or it doesn't know if you're in the basement or you're in the higher gears. It can't like decipher it and then it just hangs. I really don't know why that happens. It's it's been a thing in ATS forever. Did that truck just change colors? I think it did. I think it was red and then it changed it to Walmart. I'm not sure. But that's that's something that I, I've had happen quite a few times in this game that's the only thing is annoying. And it could just be the setup, you know, it could be like not technically just that you didn't go into the gear enough when you're floating gears. And for some reason, that's not the issue. It's it's the actual, um, you know, we go, oh, no, we don't have to pull in, sweet. Um, it's the, not the splitter, but the range basically. Well, like, you know, the, the main paddle that thing that switches you from the lower gears to the upper gears sometimes that doesn't register and it's bad because when you go to a downshift it it's acts like the paddles in the down position when it's up and I have to flip it down and flip it back up real quick for it to register but it's probably because I have a bunch of crap plugged in honestly and uh, this sim does not like to have a bunch of peripherals plugged in sometimes it kind of freaks out so when those things happen, I don't, it's not a big deal. It's just like, whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? Well, it's beautiful out here, isn't it? Sure is. Lights are on. Got a rush hour traffic. Got a caravan there. Going camping. Fine on fuel. We need to get in the left lane. This it's, it's a truck up here that's killing us all. That's what it's gonna be. I'm coming over here. Toyota, thank you. We're gonna be in the fast lane right here because these guys are going slow. I think it's this one right up here on the right. Yep, it is. The Roma. That truck right there. Beautiful sunsets in this game, man. Love it. Project Next Gen. Looking good, man. Over 
right after this guy. There we go. That's all right. If this guy wants over, I'm not letting him over then. See you. I love the transition at night. It is so good. So, so good. This bus is trying to get on the highway and you know how this goes. Here he goes. He cuts in front and this guy's going to slow down. It's a tow truck. 47 miles to Spokane. Coeur d'Alene's afterwards, but uh, we're not going there. So I think we're just going to ride in this lane for now. As the sun goes down. There we go. Get into gear. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. It's a nice, lovely drive here. It's pretty glorious. This makes me want to pop on the VR headset and go driving in this because, man, what a difference that is. Driving in this game in VR is the most relaxing thing. And you don't realize how massive these cabs are until you're in the VR and you're like, whoa, I am in a giant truck. Makes a lot more sense now. I get questions all the time why I don't have triple monitors. I've got a 48 inch monitor, and if you did that times three, imagine how much space that would take up. I don't have the room for it. And I don't, and I went with a larger mon gaming monitor than a smaller one with triples. Because I have Track IR. And, uh, you know, a lot of people that had triples that moved over to Track IR you know, it, were like, yeah, this is kind of way better, right? So much less room you need. So that's the reason why I don't have it. All right, car. I'm going to let you get on the highway if you want to, but it doesn't look like you care, so we're just going to keep rolling until our exit. I'm not sure which one's our exit. We will find out. Let's go jump down into the gear. Mm -hmm. truck. There we go, buddy. Car's letting you on. We're going to get over in that lane. I think it's going to be this exit here. So it's, it's kind of looking like that, isn't it? Just a little bit. Newport, Colville, Division Street. I think this is it. Yep, this will be it for us. Huge hill right here, we gotta be careful on. Make sure we're in the right gear here. And we are. Last thing you want is this paddle to not do what you want it to do when you're on a steep downhill off ramp. It can be disastrous. We're relying a lot on the see the engines is kind of engine breaking us down this hill pretty good pretty good too all right we're making a left turn here it's a one-way street and then i believe our drop off's up here on the right fun fun run today we did we should have enough air Hopefully. Yep, keep growing, buddy. For this drop-off. I have no idea where we're supposed to go for the drop-off. We'll find out. You going this way, buddy? Nope. Cool. Yeah, it'll be on the right. Big truck, are you trying to make a right? Yeah, you are. You can go. You want. 
or not. Doesn't seem like they doesn't look like they're in a hurry, so we'll treat it like we are. EPR here has got us completely blocked. There you go. Yeah, sometimes whenever you do the big skipping gears, you get that <laughs> sound. Right turn here. Got Spokane Falls Boulevard. That's where we're at right now. There's a neat spot here, the Spokane Convention Center. But making a red on red here is kind of weird, isn't it? Because it's like angled. You can't really tell if there's traffic coming. Spokane Convention Center, looking good. Oh. All right. See, it did it again. Why is it doing that? We're in. We were in. We we're supposed to be in that gear there, but it's not staying there. See, now we're in fifth. I don't know what the hell it's doing, man. It only did it twice on this run, so that's not so bad. We'll take it. We have made it here. I love how quiet the blinkers in this truck are. Um, let's see. See, now we're in the basement gear, so we're in first gear here. And we need to see where they want this thing, because I'm not really sure myself. It's like it's in here on the right. Is it this one spot where we have to go all the way around the back and in the right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, that's not so bad. We've, I've done this before. Oh, maybe it'll be a little more difficult than you think, because there's another trailer over there. It's going to make it a little more difficult, but that's okay. Right, welcome to challenge. Bring our trailer around this way. Give ourselves plenty of room to set up for the back. All the way to the right. Good. Yep. Back out this way, and then we're going to go straight and then to the left. Like this. So you don't want to get too far to the left to be on that fence. You know what I mean? At all. Like, at all. All right, kind of like this. There's a pole here. So they have everything mapped out exactly where you would need thing. You know, the help. That pole prevents you from doing a perfect setup. And they do that on purpose. Obviously. And I make it challenging. All right, we start coming back with it now. We should be okay. We'll clear this fence, no problem. In the building, I don't know about that. It's gonna be a little cockeyed in here. And it's not as easy of a of a drop as you think it is gonna be, because they want you to blind it in. That's why. Oh man, yeah, they do. They want you to blind it. But we're just gonna Austin Powers it in. That's fine. We can do that. It's a little bit there, a little bit more to the right, and we're gonna be set up for a blind on the. <laughs> Uh, it's very annoying, but whatever. This way we go. And that should be enough for that. If we just come back around, we can grab this thing on the line. Maybe not. A little bit more to the... We need to get the trailer more to the left. So, kind of like this. Point that trailer more to the left. About right there, and then we can crank it on back. Watch out for that crap there on the right. And straighten it out. We should be good here if we straighten this thing out. Yep, we got it. I mean, it wasn't horrible. It was just... It's one of those ones where it's like, you think you want to set up correctly? No, nope. you got to blind back it in, baby. You better believe it. Always with the blind backs. All right. Not too shabby. What a good time. All the way to Spokane, Washington. Let's go ahead and we'll kill those lights there. And we'll kill the engine. Well, let's turn our lights to secondaries and then kill the engine. 
and we'll unload and see what we got here okay we got ourselves an excellent 384 total distance there nine hours 14 minutes 70.1 gallons of fuel consumed and leveling up there on my fun profile well folks that's gonna do it for this episode of american truck simulator made it a longer one for those of you that uh, have been waiting around for one of these episodes in a while been uh, been just uh, you know doing a bunch of different uh, projects but i will see you all next time take care